here we have this wonderful little uh, clock that I designed. Spend about uh, four hours on it. Wow, that's actually kind of sad. Anyways, <clears throat> so here we have just the basic clock mechanism over here. I'm going to bring this up full screen. All right. In the center, we have a uh, circle with some tick marks for each of the hours. And then we have sprites that are representing the hands of the clock. This is the second hand. This here is the minute hand, and over here we have the hour hand. As you just noticed, this uh, section up here just updated. Um, this is the current time in digital, whereas this is only your analog clock. And then down here, this wonderful little doodad is actually your current date. I decided not to add the uh, year because that just seemed like a little much text, and would probably actually have the box running out to here. So let's see how this works. Over here we're going to be at the clock sprite. This is what draws the clock itself. And so what it does is, using a quick little uh, formula, um, it centers the circle itself on the um, stage, and then orients itself to point 90 degrees, just a good starter. Sets the pen size, and then um, goes for a full, full loop, 360 degrees as is this times this <laughs> math um, and it creates the loop however you'll notice this little tick mark here the tick mark is a small section of code that basically states whenever the direction is um, has a remainder 0 of 30 um, so that this will work every 12 times to get your hour increments it um, changes the color and then creates a small tick by turning in, moving about four steps, turning around, moving back four steps, and then turning back to its original orientation. Then, after that, it after running through that 360 times to get your whole circle, um, you'll notice this little chunk. This is only just to clean up the last little tick. Without it, this 12 o'clock tick right here is actually on top of the black circle instead of under and it just kind of ruins the whole con continuity of the actual clock. Doesn't look as fun. Alright, now to this quick moving second hand. It is simply just centered. Um, as soon as you hit the start, you center it, and then this is where it gets fun. Really complex, it's just pointing to this wonderful little gadget, the second. Um, the second times six to get your angle. Uh, after messing around with some degrees, I tried doing like 60, but then that was really, really obnoxious. So I quickly did uh, did quick calculation: 360 divided by 60, the number of seconds um, in a minute or the whole rotation, gave me six. So pretty easy. I did the same thing with this um, over on the minutes hand, as you'll notice. Um, it's just the same thing, however the hour is a little bit different. Ah. The hour hand, instead of doing uh, every 6, has a multiple of 30 so that it only has the increments of 12. And this gives you um, the slow rotation of the hour. Alright, after this, we then have our time. This is what, this is the sprite that controls this wonderful little time increment up at the top left. <clears throat> um, every time the minute is updated, which is marked by this uh, equation, um, whenever the minute is updated, it will set itself to the side of the stage at the same y coordinate that it is. Um, makes a big pen, and that this chunk here, um, as you probably just saw, uh, this chunk is what glides the um, sprite over this section to somewhat erase and cover up the previous time. After it does that, then it hops back to about this point over here, and then using the label uh, block, it labels the um, time based on the hour and minute. These two unique hour and minute blocks over here 
um, I created them as custom blocks over in the sensing and they are simply just the actual current time uh, current hour current minute but finagled to show you um, with a former or a digit in front of it uh, actually for the hour it orients it to be a 12 hour on the 12 hour scale what most people normally reference the time with um, However, for the minute, I made it so that it had a double digit, so that whenever um, the minute is less than 10, um, it shows it as a 0, 1, for example, or a 0, 2. Uh, and then this second section over here is the same thing. It's just whenever you start it up, it prints that um, just to make it look clean. The date is the same exact thing, just with different numbers so that it fits down into the bottom right of the screen. Um, it uses the same system that the uh, time did. Um, it's just the current date finagled so that it shows the digit before the actual number when it's something smaller than two digits. And again, this second uh, chunk down here is only so that during the startup when you click the green flag like this, it just makes it look nice. That would be the entire clock on its own. There's nothing mm -hmm. over here in the stage. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> this is my clock. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>